Ugh, hey, cold the morning, it's still raining. It's another two hours until I get my bus to Balkan. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess a place to buy tickets soon. So, yeah. Yeah. But, at least I'm here. That's the most important thing. Uh, I just had two cups of coffee and a donut for breakfast. So, might as well also start the day off with a chai. A piece of lemon. And, yeah, they got this sugary stuff. I'm just gonna put that into the. I'm gonna have this whole pot. <laughs> So, on the Mashuka now, we are to Balakan, we're going to leave at about 10 o'clock. <coughs> so, the tourists here, like myself. <coughs> yeah, so finally leaving Shaki in a Mashuka. Oh, <laughs> I'm the person, <laughs> this is gonna break the sugar. <laughs> Look, there's even people standing. It's a two hour trip. Well, they're gonna get me a stamp of two Or, you don't wanna be waiting until two o'clock for the next one. <laughs> Are you on a longer trip? Yeah. Have you been to uh, Sinalek or what it's called, like from Baku, the, like, there's the direct road going to uh, Lahic and Sheki and there's yeah. like this small... Uh, no, we didn't do that, no, we just did it at the end. No. Ah. I was thinking to go there, but in yeah. the end, uh, I don't know, like I want, if, I, if I went there, I had to... Shooken now for I think 20 minutes. I haven't seen any signs pointing which way to Georgia, but that will come by soon. Oh my god, check out that cloud, how down low it is on the ground. <laughs> Oh well, this guy got sheep blocking the road. <laughs> Come on, get out of the way. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Alright, sheep, those rams and horns, goats. Dog there. <laughs> now we're the town of Quax, and when you're in Azerbaijan, you'll notice they use the letter X a lot. Somebody else. <laughs> oh yes. Just past the border town that says welcome to Valkan. So oh, we are within reach of Valkan. Even the town of Katex. It shouldn't be too long till we get there.
The flight of Valari has taken as far as a bus station. Now we're gonna find a bus to, to listen. Right. <laughs> Out of backpacking friends, so we've traveled from Shecky all the way to the border. You see. So a taxi from the Azerbaijan Georgia border will take you here for five Valari, which is like two pound fifty. Now for fifteen more Valari, I can go from here to Tbilisi, the capital. So that is about sometimes 50 uh, or like a tenner a tenner to go from the border all the way to the capital so that's quite good value I'm kind of hoping if I take a train from Tbilisi to Batumi it could be cheaper or um, it might be cheaper if I go to Katasi first and then get another Marashuka to uh, Batumi yes now um, while I'm on this Mashuka in Anstabusi, we're going to talk about how to cross the Georgian Azerbaijani border. Now, for the last couple of years, the border has been shut, but you can leave Azerbaijan to go to Georgia, but you can't just enter Azerbaijan by land to Georgia, Iran, or a boat from Kazakhstan. So, to leave Azerbaijan, your best bet is to take a Mashuka from Baku all the way up to Sheki. It's been a night there. And then there are two departures from Sheki each day to Balakan. One at 10 o'clock and one at 2 o'clock. Now the driver was so nice today, he drove all the way up to the border for an extra three minutes, which cost a total of eight as their minutes. Or like roughly three-ish pounds sterling in my currency. And so it drops you directly at the border gate. You Basically, just whip out your passport, show it to the officer, proceed to pass control, and then you cross the bridge towards like, Georgia. Now, when you get to pass control, there's going to be a lady who can exchange your money, so it's best to swap your money so you can travel onwards to Georgia. It's quite a good exchange rate if you exchange from Azeri Manor to Georgia Mary. Like, let's just say if you had 24. Um, a zero amount of left over, you probably get roughly maybe 40 Georgian Lari. So you get stamped into Georgia, piece of cake, and then you walk past all the lorries, and then this taxi's waiting for you. Uh, so now, this is when you gotta like do your bartering skills. You could drop in a taxi and go all the way to Tbilisi for that for Lari, but that sounds a bit too much. So your best bet is basically just. Say so five Valari, just take me to the nearest bus station, then you can get a Mashuka like this, and 15 Lari, all the way to Tbilisi. <clears throat> Another important thing is, is when you're at the bus station in Shecky, people are going to approach you early in the morning with like rides to Balakan for 60 minutes. Don't go with them. It's a total rip off. It's basically just a private taxi. So, literally, I've just spent roughly a tenner getting from the border to Tbilisi today and then from Sheki to the Azir border I've spent maybe three or four quid I guess.
headed to Tbilisi, but this is an area that I'm not really familiar with. I've been to Tbilisi many times in a period of like the last six years, but I'm not like familiar with this area. Uh, I just got off from the show Kurt back a couple minutes ago, said goodbye to the German guys. We're on our way to a hostel. Uh, I'm in desire need of a piss and a dump. Because I've been holding on since uh, what? I left Azerbaijan. And like, literally, like, I'm telling myself, like, like, don't eat anything for the next couple of hours. You can still drink and all, because that's like, that's easy to manage. I mean, you know how like, bodily functions work. So, you shouldn't have to have me to explain. So, anyway, uh, there's McDonald's about a kilometer away. Uh, I could use the Wi Fi and I can figure out a way how I can get to Batumi to either today or tomorrow. Uh, other than that, like it's likely I'll go to the train station to Blissey and find a train that's going to Batumi today. Or if not, I'll probably go on another Mershuka that's going out there. But I actually think I won't get to Batumi until tomorrow morning. This doesn't really me bother me, it stays in that accommodation. Alright. Been into Blissey for an hour. Just finally got to a McDonald's. Where basically the Wi-Fi was crap. But then I found a free Wi-Fi around the city centre. Really good. I thought to myself, what are the train times? Is it gonna be a night train to to Blissey? I mean, but to me, and then I was like, no, there's no train to one o'clock. So I thought, forget it, we might as well just find a hostel. So, that hostel on book.com, and the horrible thing was, it goes under a different name on Google Maps. You put in the same address that you give on book.com, but it's a different business. So, fingers crossed that it's probably not really a scam, I guess, but. I really... It's such a shame that I can't even remember like the places I stayed all these years ago. I mean, if I remember the hostel I stayed in Tbilisi in 2017, you think that I'd probably still be running right now and I'd be able to, you know, get a minivan or the metro to the, to the hostel and you know, stay the night. But, well... Wish me luck. Tomorrow, the to me. RJ Inspire made a video here in Tbilisi about these gypsy kids who are robbing people. And he basically says they attack black and brown with what I think blood money. Well, this year, I just think they won't just attack people because they think oh, black and brown people are rich. But also, uh, they probably think, oh, if you are a Caucasian, or well, you're also rich because you're from the European Union. So, yeah, we yeah. keep your wits up. That's why I wear this vest to stop people from stealing shit. I have even put a padlock on my bag. I just walk into my accommodation for tonight. Give me a bed, goddammit. Probably be up 7 a.m. tomorrow to, hit, to find a bus or train to Batumi. 